What's going on YouTube? This is Austin here from Austin and Dakota coming at you again with another video for you guys today. Today, or tonight I should say, I'm going to take a break from the Rock and Metal CD collection. And instead, I'm going to be doing my Tupac CD collection. Um, I'm a huge Tupac fan. Absolutely love Tupac. Um, I've said it before, I'm going to say it again. Tupac is my favorite rapper of all time. I um, absolutely love his music. Um, for those that don't know who he is, um, he got to start back in the 90s, um, 80s, 80s, 90s. His first appearance on Wax was with Digital Underground and the song Same Song. Um, definitely check it out. He had a really good verse on that. Um, and then eventually Digital Underground um, was the ones that signed him. Mainly Shock G. Um, Shock G signed him to Digital Underground. Um, if it wasn't for Shock G, we wouldn't have one of the best rappers of all time, in my opinion. So tonight, I thought I'd show you guys my Tupac CDs and show you guys um, what CDs I own by him. So started things off. Um, gonna start things off with his debut, Tupacalypse Now, released in 1991. Um, this was kind of a controversial album at the time, because um, it talked about police brutality and teenage pregnancy uh, but Pac spoke the truth on this album anytime he put out an album you knew he was speaking the truth when he put it out um, but I really like this one this is one of his more underrated albums um, but like I said this album had some heavy influences so it, like I said talked about uh, police brutality and teenage pregnancy Mainly on the song Brennan's Got a Baby. Um, singles off this album are Soldier Story, Trapped, If My Homie Calls, and Brennan's Got a Baby. I still think Brennan's Got a Baby is the best track off this album. So definitely check this album out. And people were kind of getting familiar with Pac, even though Pac did same song with Digital Underground, people were still getting familiar with him. Um, but yeah, definitely would recommend this one. That's Pac's debut, Apocalypse Now, released in 1991. And then fast forward to 1993, he would put out this one right here. Strictly for my brothers. Obviously, you should know the uh, the title of the album. Uh, there's an, It's an acronym saying, Never Ignorant in Getting Goals Accomplished. This was released in 1993. This was before Pac got into a lot of legal trouble. Um, and I'll talk about that as we talk, as I go into talking about Thug Life. Um, to me, another underrated album by Pac. Not a lot of people, um, not a lot of people really know this album, or not a lot of people really give Pac his credit on this album. But, I mean, it's still got some gems on it. I mean, like I said, Pac was still getting his toes in the water. People were still getting familiar with Pac. My opinion wasn't until this album when Pac um, became familiar with everybody. Um, but yeah, I definitely would recommend this one. Singles off this album are Holler If You Hear Me, which I freaking love Holler If You Hear Me. Um, I get around. Freaking love the beat off that. Uh, Keep your head up, and Papa song. Those are the four singles off the album. I would definitely recommend this one. I think this is one of his more underrated albums, in my opinion. Um, one that really got Pac out there. Um, in my opinion, the first two did, but yeah, I definitely would check this one out. So then, fast forward to 1994. We're going to get to 94, 95. Um, 95 was a dark era for Pac as he was facing jail time. He pretty much forced a girl. I'm not going to say what he did. Um, you can research it. But before he went to jail, um, he put out one more album before he went to jail, and that would be this one right here. Thug Life, Volume 1, released in 1994. This, this right here, ladies and gentlemen, this is the true blueprint of West Coast hip hop. I love this album. It's one of my, it's one of my favorite albums of all time. I absolutely love this album by Pac. Um, 
people don't really give this album credit, but yeah, this is amazing. Um, another one of my most sought after Tupac albums, and I had to get it. Um, the members of Plug Life are Pac himself, Macados Mopri, Macadosis, Rated R, and The Big Psych, um, or The Rated R. Absolutely love this. Unfortunately, this would be the group's only album they would put out. Um, really sad, unfortunately. But yeah, I absolutely love this album. It's been a while since I've last listened to it, but yeah. You can tell this is like heavily West Coast influenced. You have West Coast and you have East Coast at the same time. Um, people who produced this album was another West Coast legend, Warren G, Easy Mo B, Big Psych himself, and Stretch. Um, singles off this album are Pour Out a Little Liquor and Cradle to the Grave. Those are the two tracks off the two singles off the album. I still think Bury Me a G and How Long Will They Mourn Me with Nate Dogg is the best tracks on this album. But yeah, highly recommend this one. So then we fast forward to 1995, and unfortunately Pac would face um, some hard time. He was facing jail time for doing a whole lot of illegal stuff, especially giving a girl, forcing him to give him and his crew head. That is some roughed up, that's really roughed up stuff, man. So fast forward to 1995, and we get this album right here. Me Against the World. Released in 1995. Um, coincidentally, uh, there's a song playing off it in the background. Um, it Ain't Easy, um, which is... I don't know what track number it is, but... Like I said, Pac was going through a really hard time when he dropped this album. This is his best album, in my opinion. I'll dive why. I'll explain why. This album is dark, it's gritty. Like I said, Pac was going through a really difficult time at, the, at this point. Like I said, he was facing jail time. So that's why when he was doing videos, you didn't really see Pac in the videos because he was facing jail time, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is his best album. And this is my favorite Tupac album. Um, so like I said, like I said, this is Tupac's best album. I know people keep saying all eyes on me, but Me Against the World, this is my favorite Tupac album. Um, singles off this album are Dear Mama, So Many Tears, which I love, and um, Temptations. I know Terminology uh, sampled the beat um, so many, from So Many Tears in one of his songs. But yeah, highly recommend this one. So then afterwards, fast forward to 1996, um, he gets bailed out by Suge Knight of Death Row Records. And as... Uh, people, as the old saying goes, the rest is history. He was signed to Death Row, and he would put out one more album for his tragic death, and that would be All Eyes on Me. Released in 1996, this would be his last album before his unfortunate passing. Um, but yeah, um, this album is dope, but it's not as good as... Um, me Against the World, in my opinion. But I still like this album. I still like All Eyes on Me. Um, it's the first double-disc album in hip-hop history. Um, but yeah, this is a really good album. You can tell, heavily influenced by Death Row. As you can see, Death Row Records. Right there, like I said, this was his first and only album that he put out under Death Row. Um, unfortunately, the flip mechanism is broke in this thing. Let me see if I can... I came right out. Yeah. Sorry. It's broke. But there's the second disc. It's the first double disc album in the history of hip-hop. And my edition came broke, which really makes me mad. Singles off this album are California Love, which I do not like the remix to California Love. I like the original mix on it. Two of America's Most Wanted with Snoop Dogg, How Do You Want It with Casey and JoJo, and I Ain't Mad At Ya. Those are the four singles off this album. I still like this album, I just don't think it's his best. Not his worst. Um, favorite tracks off the album are uh, Ambitions as a Rider, 
Scandalous. How do you want it? Actually, coincidentally, yeah, two of America's most wanted, as you're hearing now. Um, no more pain. Life goes on. Only God can judge me. Trading war stories. Um, bunch of phone number. Can't see me is the best track. I sure you want to be a thug. Wonder what they call you. Um, picture me rolling. Self-titled track. Run the streets and heaven ain't hard to find. I still like this album though. Don't get me wrong. It's a good album. Not as good as all I earn er, as I'm me against the world. Okay, yeah, definitely check this album out. Um, unfortunately, we would lose Tupac in 1996 at the age of 25. Um, he was shot, leaving a Mike Tyson fight. People are saying that Suge Knight had something to do with it. I'm not here to talk about that one. I'm here to talk about Tupac CDs. Um, so those are all of his studio albums. I'm missing um, Machiavelli. That's when he changed his name from Tupac to Machiavelli. So, uh, last three are going to be compilation albums. So, I have His Greatest Hits. This was released in 1998. I think. I don't know. This is a very good compilation album. Um, but yeah. This was another one of my most sought after Pac CDs. This Greatest Hits is rare. This is the only Greatest Hits album that you can get the original version of California Love, um, God Bless the Dead, and the iconic Hit Em Up. Which I don't mind that, but kind of long drawn out in my opinion. So there's the second disc. But yeah, highly recommend this compilation album if you can get your hands on it. Um, but yeah, love this. So then I have both of the best of Tupac, part one and two. So I got part one, Thug, and part two, Life. They both come in adult, they both came together. Um, you can buy these ones separately, but I just wanted to, like, I was like, you know what, let's just go and get them. Um, I'll talk about part two, Life, but here's part one. This is part one, Thug. This compilation album by Tupac, I can just listen to over and over. Um, in my opinion, this is better than Life. This is better than Part 2, in my opinion. This is a good compilation album from Tupac. Um, but yeah, great one. This also has the original version of California Love on it, um, which I really love. I love the original version of California Love. I hate the remix. Um, the only new song on this is Resist the Temptation, um, which was really good. So I highly recommend this one. And part one, in my opinion, has got more familiar tracks. Part two is the same way. Um, not much familiarity except for Keep Your Head Up, Brenda's Got a Baby. And all that. Dope Beans Diner is on here, which was another single. Um, I didn't mind part two, but I think part one is better. Um, so, yeah. I'd recommend the three compilation albums that I got from Tupac. If I had to recommend two compilation albums to get by Tupac, I suggest his greatest hits and the best of Tupac part one. Those are the Tupac CDs I recommend. Alrighty, guys. So, that's it. That is my Tupac CD collection. This is all the Tupac I own. Um, like I said, I absolutely love Tupac. May God bless him. Absolutely love Tupac. Uh, Tupac Amar Shakur, you're going to be missed by many. Um, so, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please comment, like, and subscribe down below. Be sure you hit the bell notification so that way you don't miss any more videos like this in the near future. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you guys next video.